I have a radio and I have an app. Okay. Which crossover would I use? That's a great question of the week, so stay tuned. Great question. Radio amplifier. Which one should you use? At the end of the day, probably doesn't matter. Okay. A uh, couple scenarios that we'll give to describe how we do it. Most of the time we're going to use the amplifier. Yeah. At least to the point to where the speakers are at their minimum frequency we want them to play. So if like let's say it's a really nice mid-range and it'll play down to 90 hertz or 80 hertz, we're going to set the amplifier at that. The reason why is cuz we know that the end user is going to go and play with the controls. Yes. And we encourage it. It's your radio. Go ahead. But we also know we don't want you to blow your mid-range. So we'll set it up at the amplifier. Me personally, and, and some of you guys out there that are doing it yourself, you'll want to use the radio. Because okay. the radio is far better. Most of these newer radios have 6, 12, 18, 20, 40 dB per octave slopes. They have a plethora of adjustments. And most of them have safe settings. Safe settings is important. If like, you know, the Pioneer NEX radios don't have safe setting. We always set up the amplifier because if the battery is disconnected for whatever reason, you lose all of it. We don't want you coming back with blown speakers, so we'll set up the crossover on the amplifier. All the regular AVH, the Kenwood Exelons, they all have memory. We'll set it up in the radio and then what we'll do is we'll put a default baseline minimum amount of crossover on the amplifier. So we'll still turn on the high pass, but let's say we set the high pass at the amplifier at like 80, low pass at maybe 100. Just so that there's something there if lightning strikes the car and the radio totally wipes itself where they do a software update and it totally goes dead and before they can come back and see us that way they don't blow all the speakers <laughs> i mean you know hey it happened really the easiest way to say this is it really doesn't matter which one you use whichever is easier for you if you're the end user and you understand what you're doing it doesn't matter go ahead so it's personal preference it really comes down to personal preference as far as sound goes if you're really trying to dial it in i personally feel the radio is going to be better because you could set it for 24 db you could set it at like 60 hertz and you could get a ton of mid-range out of there maybe 70 hertz you can use those lower crossover points to get more mid bass out of those speakers for me i would want to use the deck these amps 12 db it's generic setting anymore you know it's like we're spoiled so that's it different scenarios will dictate different things if you're letting somebody borrow your car and you know they're going to screw with your radio set it at the amp if you're the end user and you're the only guy that's ever going to play with your stuff set it at the radio if you're somebody like us or somebody that installs stuff for friends and stuff like that and you don't want them to blow any of their crap set it at the amplifier don't tell them and just let them play with the deck all they want don't tell don't tell don't tell well we hope that gives you a general idea of how to answer that question <laughs> and the show all right so thank you for watching uh you know where to find us on facebook youtube and instagram and as usual you guys have a great night we hope you like these let us know in the comments have a great night we'll see you later next time bye, bye.